six things that I cannot live without. So, I'm not bragging in any way. It's like, I literally cannot live without these things. Like, literally. So, number one is my family. And, no, seven things that I cannot live without. So, number one is my family. Because if I didn't have my family, I wouldn't have been born. So, yeah. And number two is you guys. All of my little girl scouts. I could not live without you guys. So, all you Girl Scouts out there, all my subscribers, I heart you. So then, the third thing I cannot live without is my reborn babies. My two reborn baby girls, Promise and Molly. Just gonna put them back down here. Ooh. Okay, so the third thing I can't live without is my auntie. And she gave me this. Her name is Sharon for my 10th birthday and I still have it because I want to keep it as a memory and I just love it and why I love my auntie so much is because she's my family obviously so I have to love her and um, like she's kind of like my second mother because like she minds me every single day because my mom and dad both go to work so yeah she minds me every day so she's always there for me and like yeah so the third thing I cannot live without is money. Because if we didn't have money, we couldn't live. Because we need money to buy food and pay for like a toilet and stuff. So money is something we all cannot live without. So like make it rain and little fact this is only like 15 euro. So yeah. The third thing... No, the third thing, what? I don't, I lost count of what I'm on. I think I'm on like five or something. So the second thing, I, the, well, the next thing is Jeff Kenny. Jeff Kenny, yes. I cannot live without this guy. He is so great. I have his new book, Diary of Wimpy Kid Old School. I love the Diary of Wimpy Kid um, book series. I think they're really cool. And, like, they're perfect for my level of reading. So, yeah. And I think this is the last thing that I can literally cannot live without. So, the last thing I cannot live without. You guys might make fun of me, but hair is gonna hate. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. The last thing I cannot live without. Oh, yeah. I also cannot live without my phone, which is this right here. But I'm recording on it, so I can't show you guys. But, yeah. Uh, and then the last thing I cannot live without is these three teddy bears. So, as you can see, I have all these three things 10 years. Because I got all of these when I was born. So, yeah, I kind of, like, can't sleep without them. So, this is Linda and Ginge. Um, this is Linda, named after my mom. And Ginge, the gingerbread man. So, I snuggle with them every night. And this teddy... Um, my nanny gave to me when I was born, but she sadly passed away, I think, five years ago. So, I was five when she passed away. I think it was five years ago, five or six years ago. And sometimes, every time, every night when I hold this, I feel like my nanny's just with me. So, yeah. So, I want... The holy God and my nanny to bless all of you guys and keep you guys safe. And oh yeah, one last thing I actually cannot live without is God. Because God gave my mum and the dad the gift of me to bring into the world. So yeah, those are the things that I literally cannot live without. Because um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. If you want to become an official Girl Scout, please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh.